Not that he's been together for 28 years now, right? Uh, sure. I think what's kept us together is that we don't do it all the time. You know, honestly, uh, the last at least 15 years since Guy joined the band, um, it's been kind of a part-time thing. You know, it's kind of a fun thing we get to do instead of like the job that we have to do. It's undeniable that we're a Seattle band. Like most of the bands that were kind of linked in the grunge thing in the in the late 80s, early 90s, we all kind of came out of the same punk scene, the same underground music scene. So that's totally fine, totally true. But I think all the bands sounded quite a bit different from each other. We held on to our punk rock roots much firmer than some of the other people. Yeah. And would refuse to let them go. That might become standard yeah. <laughs> at this point, the, the five-year break between records. What, um, no. We have other, we have jobs. I live in Portland. Um, we have kids. We just have other things, you know. Um, it's not our job. It's like this fun thing we do, you know. So it takes a while. He is totally a record yeah. collector. Yeah, I mean, I'm a seller though too. So. I kind of killed my collector bug in a certain way when I started selling records. Like, uh, I started selling records when my son was born, uh, almost 12 years ago now. And I was like, well, I wanted to take a break from work. I wanted to be, I said, I'll just start selling some of my rare records for the next couple years so I can spend more time with him as he's a, a young child. And what happened was it just kind of killed the collector in me. It was kind of a blessing in a weird way because I still love digging for records and stuff, but I, I'm not, obsessed because it became a smaller part of my life, I guess, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just try to write about something that strikes me as interesting and, and hopefully if there's something that's... My, my humor tends to be dark, you know, I think generally I so like to keep that in there you know nothing too terribly serious I mean sometimes we'll have some songs that uh, like older songs that will revive and maybe the lack of humor and the earnestness in those earlier lyrics really bothers me <laughs> <laughs> you know like I'm a distraught person in my 20s. Ah! <laughs> you know. So, so after, after, after this plans. tour, we're going to go home. We're going to go home for a um, couple of weeks. Maybe we'll, hopefully we'll start practicing and working on new songs yep. for a while. Then uh, Steve and I are doing uh, a couple Monkey Wrench shows in September in yeah, the Northwest. We, we've got a couple Monkey Wrench thing. And then hopefully after that, we'll be able to fully concentrate on writing new Mud finishing, Honey songs. Finishing a new record. Yeah. But so now I think, since people keep asking us about this, our 30th anniversary is coming up. We need to have the record done for our 30th anniversary. Well, hopefully before then. Yeah. The 30th anniversary is, is still two years away. Is it still actually two years away? Or one and a half years away? I guess one and a half years. <laughs> <laughs>
Come now, who wants to 